Hey everybody, welcome back to another Surgical Tech Tips. Today's video is brought to you by the news. I saw something cool in the news, it was a couple weeks back and I've been meaning to make a video about it but I just haven't had time. And it's about one of my favorite toys that I have, it's, it's drones. I have the little race drone here and a little photography drone here. Um, somebody in Maryland, uh, it's actually a surgeon and he has a team uh, beside him. They've developed a, a drone to use for organ transplant transportation. Uh, I, I think that's absolutely amazing. And it's absolutely amazing seeing something as useful as, as a drone being used for so many different things. I've seen, you know, news things out there that you know, people are building drones big enough where they can attach you know fire retardant stuff to them and maybe in like a 20-story building they can fly a drone up in the air and shoot the flame retardant stuff through the window of a, of a burning you know apartment or something like that um, Amazon obviously the big wig Amazon is going to be delivering <laughs> stuff to us via drones you know, at some point in the future. There's so many cool things that they're doing out there with drones and to see someone taking it upon themselves in the healthcare space uh, and, and applying drone technology to the healthcare space is pretty amazing. So Joseph Scalia, he's an assistant professor of surgery at the University of Maryland Medical Center and he's the one that has outfitted these these drones with coolers and biosensors that can monitor the organ's health throughout its whole uh, aerial journey on the drone. Uh, he calls it a human organ monitoring apparatus for long distance travel. It basically measures all the biophysical properties like temperature, pressure, vibration, and altitude of the organ and he him and his team have like pull, full on developed an app uh, where you can basically watch it via GPS, almost like like waiting for your Uber, <laughs> watching your Uber X, you know, as it's coming toward you. Now, for me, as I was reading this, I, I think it's just absolutely amazing. You know, if we we don't quite have the technology and the scale to utilize drones for long distance travel uh, but to be able to use something use a transportation device like drones within a city uh, you know two hospitals that are close to one another maybe five miles apart hopefully in the future we could go a little bit further but for now they're testing something so close you know three miles apart this this hospital uh you know did this first organ trans transportation um i think it's amazing the fact that you i i feel like it would be a huge reduction in time not having to deal with securing a driver and a car and ensuring who knows about traffic on the roads you know these aren't police escorts that are transporting organs to, from hospital to hospital these people are just in transportation vans so whatever type of traffic they're going to get on the road the roadways they're going to be stuck in that just like anybody else you pop this organ onto a drone though send it into the air and have it fly across the sky to its destination at another hospital, I feel like that would be a, a significant reduction in time. And as we all know, as soon as an organ you know, leaves its donor's body, every second counts. Every second that organ is ischemic and does not have blood flow, its tissue is dying. So reducing that amount of time will help immensely. It, not only the organ itself, but the success of the surgery itself and the success of that future recipient of that organ for many, many years to come. You know, getting implanted with an extremely healthy organ that may have, you know, 
saved 30 minutes of transport time because they flew the organ via drone over to the other hospital. I think it's just absolutely amazing. And like I said, I wanted to share it with you guys because I love drones. I love, I love the onset of like this aerial technology and I feel like there's so many use cases for it and it's really exciting to see, um, to see it used in a healthcare setting in, in this way. Something I, I hadn't even thought of, but, oh, the dogs are yelling at me. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this. If any of you actually out there worked at uh, University of Maryland Medical Center and you were in on that surgery or you heard about it, please let me know in the comments down below. Everybody check and uh, see if any, anybody has anything to say. Um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.